we are looking to isolate DNA from a plant tissue and the plant tissue we're using on this occasion is that of a kiwi plant and the reason we use the kiwi plant is because it releases its own protease enzyme which we are going to need later on. The very important thing to note here is you need to know why each individual step is being done in this experiment because they all play a vital role in releasing out the DNA. So the first thing we do here is we peel the kiwi and then we start to chop it up. And the reason we're chopping it up is to release out the cell contents because chopping it breaks down the cell walls. Once it is chopped up into really small pieces and we're pretty happy the cell contents will be released, we're now going to add salt into a water solution. And the salt is there because it's gonna cause the DNA to clump together. Once the salt's in there, we take some washing up liquid and then we add that to the water solution as well because the washing up liquid will be there to disrupt and break down cell membranes because of the phospholipids that will be in the cell membranes. We give that a quick stir and then we're gonna add in the chopped kiwi tissue. So once the kiwi tissue has been added into this solution, what we're going to do is we're going to add it into a water bath and the water bath is at 60 degrees because this will denature any enzymes that will be present that would break down the DNA. Now we leave it in this water bath 15 full minutes, but we do not leave it any longer than that because if you were to leave it longer than 15 minutes, the DNA itself would begin to break down. Once it has been in the hot water bath 15 minutes, we then take it out and we place it into an ice bath. We place it into the ice bath to ensure that the DNA doesn't have time to denature. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pack the ice in really tightly around it to bring this temperature down pretty quickly. Once it's been in there for five minutes, what we're then going to do is we're going to blend the solution. So we get the blender and then we take the solution out of the ice bath and we put it into the blender. Now we are going to blend this solution to break down any cell walls that are still present. And all we're going to do is blend it for three seconds because any longer than that would result in the DNA itself breaking down. So it's a very quick one, two, three, and then we take it out and we begin to filter that solution. The reason we have to filter the solution is because we need to get rid of the cell debris. We don't want any of those big lumpy bits. We just want the filtrate because the filtrate is going to contain the DNA because it's really, really small so it can fit through the filter paper. So we take the blended solution, we pass it along into the coffee filter here and straight away this begins to filter out the solution. What we're going to do is we're going to capture some of this filtrate and what we're going to do is add a few drops of protease to break down proteins associated with DNA. Now we don't actually have to do this with kiwi because it produces its own protease. So instead we jump straight to the step whereby we get ice cold ethanol and we're going to trickle this down the side of the test tube. And the reason we use ice cold ethanol is because DNA is insoluble in ice cold ethanol and therefore it'll begin to precipitate out of solution and will become visible as groups of white treads. Now the camera did struggle a little bit to pick this up but you will be able to see it. There's a few little white treads there. What I've done here is I've added in a picture at the very end to show you what this should look like and what you would do is you would take some of these treads out using an inoculating loop or else a glass rod and inspect in further detail.